there welcome I appreciate you guys watching this channel and as I'm growing this channel I hope you guys are growing with your Amazon FBA business as well and this information is helping you guys with that said today let's talk about Amazon step-by-step -step process okay the next phase of our Amazon selling um, strategy or sort of like an overall step-by-step -step guide is to work on our listing once we know that our product let's say is coming in three four weeks or a month we need to start working on our listing we need to create a really marketable targeted listing and the way to do that is you want to make sure that you're getting quality pictures now a little trick is that if your supplier if you contact your supplier and let them know or ask them if they have any professionally taken pictures for their product they're obligated to share that with you for the product that you're purchasing from them so get those professional pictures done if not there are tons of photographers on Fiverr and you can actually choose one of them or have one of your professional photographer friends that are doing this for their business um, for business so you can get them to do a professional shoot now keep in mind guys one of the things that is very important is before you order a bunch of stuff for your Amazon FBA make sure you get samples do not place any big order before you get in, before you get samples samples will allow you to actually see the quality of the product if it's something you want to sell how durable it is test it out right and then you can order let's say 500 or 1000 units whatever you want to sell now this will allow you to make sure there is a quality control right now guys you can have a one of the uh, a QC controlled person to go to uh, the suppliers warehouse and actually check your shipments as well that's an extra step that I don't think you guys can afford when you're starting out if you can by all means you can hire a third party and they will go test the uh, products make sure the shipment is coming and it's fine and everything but samples are important to check and make sure everything is in order okay so now back to our listing now that you've done a really good uh, job with your photographs you have to make sure you have a compelling title that describes the product and also is very technical based on what the product should be subscribed so you can get that um, if you go on Amazon and you see your competitors you can see how they've categorized or they've titled their products and the descriptions and the bullet points have to explain everything that you think the buyer will have questions about because if they have any questions about your product they're not gonna ask you hey can you explain this to me they will move on to the next product that's just the nature of things so you want to make sure that it is self-explanatory that it is dummy down and um, yeah it's marketable also the kind of words that we want to use in our listing so whether it is phrases specific words whatever we want to make sure it's search engine optimized meaning that it's searchable just like you do anything with Google or YouTube or whatever right you want to make sure you do research for words that are people searching for right because that's how they'll find your product by those keywords and if you have it not only in the back end of your uh, listing but also in the copy of your listing that's how you guys will be able to um, uh, when the buyers search for your product you will pop up and that's how we do search engine optimization with our listing and one way to do is as I've shown you guys is through um, oh sorry merchant words and you can find the specific words that are mostly searched for that specific category or product right so it's very easy guys um, I've done a ton of videos on this stuff so make sure you check out the channel and really familiarize yourself on how to do this I don't want to get into too much details on this video because this is a step-by-step -step, uh, overview of what you need to do and when we get into details that's where the channel comes into handy okay the last stage of all this is to launch your product now once we've launched this is the fun stuff guys our main goal is to put our product on page one make sure that it is searched for make sure that people are buying it and make sure that we're building sales velocity and one of the steps that I've done in the previous video is to get your sales reviews social proof is a real thing guys like I've said that when people see that this product is being bought and people are leaving, leaving reviews they trust it if they see a product with no reviews they're not gonna trust it and they're not gonna purchase it so in order for you to build your social proof 
and uh, build your sales velocity, you need to get reviews from people. So one of the ways that I've shown you guys is to contact people in your Facebook groups, people who you feel comfortable, groups that you've shared things with. You're not just asking, you're sharing. Say, hey, can you leave me a review? Now, you can do two ways, verified reviews or just regular reviews, right? Unverified reviews. Verified reviews are basically people who've purchased your product and now they're leaving you a review. Unverified reviews, people who have not purchased your product and they're leaving a review. You wanna make sure you have a good balance of both. Like the more verified you have, of course it's much better, but you can get a few um, unverified reviews too to have at least 10 reviews. Why 10 guys? That number is important. When you have nine reviews and people's mind and the subconscious, they're like, okay, it's a single digit review. When you have 10, all of a sudden it's double digit. Even though I know it's one more, it's just the way the human brain works. When you see a double digit, all of a sudden something else kicks in. Okay, okay, I can trust this product. So get as many verified reviews as possible with some unverified reviews by asking people directly if you can leave reviews for me, if you can purchase pro the product, I will refund plus 10% of whatever you wanna give them back for their work. And guys, when you do this, make sure you write the review. Do not let the buyer. So the way you approach it is like, hey, I've already created a review template for you. Here it is. You don't have to do any work. All you gotta do is put this in and you will get the product for free plus 10%. And that's how you build sales velocity. Make sure you do these things before you get into uh, coupon codes, uh, giveaways, and PPC campaigns because you need a little bit of sales velocity in order to push it to the next level. So that's why we always, always make sure we have social proof because once you start doing giveaways and the sales really start to rack up, you want to have enough social proof so that um, the algorithm, Amazon's algorithm, really detects that, okay, this guy is a is a consistent seller now what I can do is I can push it to page one or to higher pages now a lot of the time what happens is that when you do giveaways you want to make sure you're giving away the same number of units that your top competitors do it now I don't want to be unreasonable if your product if their top competitors doing hundreds of units a day that's just impossible that's just gonna eat through your entire inventory but if they do 10 20 sales a day you want to make sure you do that for three to seven days to build sales velocity and then in, in concurrence with that we do PPC campaigns which is pay-per-click and which is basically when certain words are searched and your listing pops up and it's clicked on Amazon charges you some advertising dollars so you do these two things and guys before you know it you'll be on page one and you'll be selling like crazy you'll be selling like hotcakes so um, just want to make sure I didn't miss anything yeah so that's basically everything in a nutshell step-by-step -step guide and I hope this helped you guys really feel a little more comfortable I know it's a lot of detail guys and that's what this channel is about to break it down so you guys can go point by point step by step and imagine guys like you're not doing this all in one shot you're doing this day by day step by step so don't feel overwhelmed thank you guys I hope you learned something valuable today like comment and subscribe if you like this video I would appreciate any questions that you guys have. I'll be happy to answer them. And that's it, guys. I'll see you guys on Friday, and we're going to do a practical product research technique. And I want to show you guys more of my tricks because I know how important product research is to everybody. Thanks again. Have a wonderful day, and I'll see you guys then. Bye.